Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Avru and today's video will be on the power of streamly.markdown syntax. So normally whenever we create any GitHub repository along with the license file, we also create one of this file called as readme.md. This md stands for the markdown file. Right, And this MD file or this markdown file, you dump with all the information about your GitHub repository. You give a hint about what this repository is about. You also throw some information where you, this file or this uh, sources or the resources of this file can exist and all these stuff, you put it there. So the user can understand or the person who visit your repository can understand from how you develop this particular repository or what are the sources of it or what are the other helper files it is. This can be very well exploited using streamly.markdown syntax. Now the thing comes rather than copying and pasting this whole readme file which you also want to throw in your streamlit app as an information to your user, why not use directly this file and read that file, open that file in your streamlit app as one of the first information page or as the home page in your multi-page streamlit app. So whenever you change anything in your readme file, your app automatically gets updated. I'll just draw an example where I have discussed about this uh, particular project before also in one of my uh, videos before. So let's say this is one of this repository, ST spec mode, okay? And uh, it has, like any other GitHub repositories, it has a readme.md. This is the file, right? So basically, if I go inside it, if I go inside it, you will see all the information about installation or what you can open through it a quick start and all this stuff is there is also an image kind of stuff out here uh, the video tutorial this image all this thing comes here. also rewrite that part uh, you just need to click this button out here so this is a typical uh, markdown syntax so you mean this uh, this hash two hash or it's header subheader all these things are out there uh, this is typically when you're writing a code all this you can write in a markdown this is a typical markdown syntax right and this is typical you know three Codes with this is when you're writing in a let's say a code uh, a code block. So if you preview it, you will see how it looks. So this is how you write a markdown file. So this file is exactly which I have copied now in my local directory or my local, which I will also demonstrate today. And here we dump all this in app.py file. Here I have used a separate file markdown to app.py. So this file, we'll try to call this readme.md, this exact folder which I'm demonstrating here is also in my local file. As a local folder, I will try to read this file using streamlit syntax, it's very simple, okay? So first let's use the traditional streamlit markdown syntax, right? So how we do that? So one of the first uh, example is when you use st.markdown, so this one hash means the header, if I use, let's say, double hash, it's basically a subheader. And if I just remove this, you see, it's an italics format. So these are typical markdown syntax, right? Exactly same way this whole thing was written out here, the readme file. And that's a common practice which we all do, right? And what Streamlit app does, the cloud, they uh, drag everything from your GitHub repository and then they populate that in your app. So it's always a connection with the GitHub repository. Otherwise, you cannot deploy any Streamlit app. So now let's say your first page of the app. So this app has a lot of other stuff. So one of them is the example of how this stuff work and all this thing. You can find everything in my separate video where I, it's a bioinformatics uh, app kind of, where how to develop your own um, protein molecular visualization app. This thing you can find in my previous video. I'll also put a link out here. So this particular repository states about that but the first one or the first page which will you can rename it as a home page i want to describe what my app consists of and it will be the same description as in the readme file so let's see how we write it we say with open readme.md that's a markdown format and we say read only kind of okay uh, with as f and we say st dot markdown and what we do is we say f dot read yeah uh, and that's something allow uh, unsave allow html we make it as a true now if i run this you see all of my readme file as i showed you in case of my uh, 
uh, the github repository i'll just draw it back again here whatever was here whatever was here in this repository in this uh, in this readme file is now coming in my uh, app also right everything is out there except except the images except the images everything is out there if i just click this blog post part normally there is to be an image out there but that's not coming up here so that's a few tweaks we have to do but in case if you don't have any images or anything as such you just need to write these two lines which will be automation of your readme to your app as an app which shows all the information about what this app looks like or whatever it is or what how is your packages anything it will be there you can also at times write your own uh, let's say your own cv or something which you write in a markdown form format which is very common you just dump it in a streamlit app and it's there for everyone that's one way you can do it now the next part is i also want to allow let's say i want to allow uh, the images out there okay so how we can do that so for that we need few more information so where the images are located i have a particular folder which is called as uh, let's say resources resources these are typically you know all these uh, uh, files all these files which has the images of the structure and all this stuff whatever you have in your case it doesn't matter i want to dump that also so basically if i want to do that i have to read line by line and whenever there's an img file or png file or whatever it is or gif file i just need to kind of put that also i need to use a if loop which will put whenever it reads a file which ends with that particular uh, let's say uh, let's say suffix i put that in the app so that's how i put it so how we can do that how to do that we have to add few more stuff so i use you know you know to read the part i use globe it's a very common practice so i i will go line by line so why i will use globe i will show you that also so first thing will be read me lines and i just say f dot read lines read lines and you just put it like this and i say read me read me buffer this is an empty uh, kind of a uh, list which we will kind of kind of append it later and the other thing is we have to say what are the resource uh, files right uh, so resource uh, let's say resource files here we will also need to use uh, let's say uh, let's say what comes out from here So now with this first few lines, we're basically reading what are the available uh, uh, files inside that particular folder, right? So we see all this mol.png, all these stuffs which we saw before. So basically we're trying to read whatever is inside our resources folder because those are the folders which are mostly attributed to the images or whatever you have in your uh, particular current GitHub repository. So this is also a way just to show that, yes, that particular way you can read those files inside a particular folder right so that's what i wanted to do now comes the real part where we will uh, deal with line by line so how we do it it's a for line in uh, readme let's say readme lines or a uh, readme line okay and uh, then we say readme buffer so this is something which we assigned before readme buffer dot uh, let's say we will append this that's why we created an empty string and here we will put the line right and once i save this part we will go to the next part is about what will be the images right for image in resource files so basically we are now going through the images which we saw before folder whatever the images are we are going line by line for that for image uh, in resources files so we read one after other in a loop basically we always store whatever the image name is we still not have it here but i will show you we take that particular uh, particular image path and then we say st.image don't forget streamlit has also its image syntax so we take the st.image here 
and we say like again we use the f function and we put it like this resources underscore whatever we saved here here and we put it like this so here we have the whole stuff where we got this image thing right so whatever was there we put it as it is out here the next few lines we will just uh, just uh, we just say readme buffer dot clear sc dot markdown and we just clean the every stuff and we just sc dot markdown join readme buffer whatever we had there and we save it now if you see whatever we had in our particular file everything in details come here so if i just go back to my previous uh, what i was showing here that particular uh, github repository whatever we had there everything comes up that is something which is amazing i mean I will, I will go back to that particular repository you see everything whatever we has in that particular readme file we now have in our local host and now like this if you deploy your app you will have an app which has whatever the content or the examples in my case whatever the contents you want to show plus a home page which describes what your app is and this home page is always connected to your readme.md file which is in your repository which is nothing but in your repository one of the drawback is I still couldn't figure out how to uh, make this image which is out here like a GIF image uh, maybe there is tricks I think someone you can write down in the comment section that's how we can do that I just didn't uh, invest more time here but that's something which is very well can be made also otherwise the images come very well whatever you have even the code block you see it comes very well so basically let's say you have a documentation page where you have a lot of codes and stuffs dump it using the streamly.markdown file everything will clearly come out at the first page and you can also put your changes or the log file which you maintain all are in md format dump it you can create a whole documentation just by reading this particular markdown files from your streamlit app using streamlit dot markdown streamlit dot markdown uh, functions and it's super powerful in order to write your app in this way and when you want to showcase lot of parts of your app in a multi-page app you show the home the changes or the codes which you want to show within your app everything can be connected together so that's all for today i hope you guys will enjoy this short video or a quick tip how we can use streamly.markdown this syntax and please write down in the comment section below what else we can uh, do with Streamlit or what are the other uh, videos you would like to see. I have made a lot of machine learning videos also recently and also a lot of in Streamlit. And thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.